Oh, they're surprise cookies. They're box-shaped and rainbow. And I tied them up with red licorice. Welcome back to Dirt Cuisine, where today I'll be taking a crack at the surprise cookies from Epitheterist Prison of Plastic, the ultimate test for an evil minion. A cookie that is described as box-shaped and rainbow, and tied up with red licorice with too much buttercream. So for the multicolored sugar cookie dough that's going to serve as our cookie box, we will need flour, butter, sugar, eggs, milk, baking powder, salt, and an array of vibrant food colorings. These will be held together with a standard American buttercream, which only needs butter, powdered sugar, milk, vanilla, and salt. And for topping things off, we have some red licorice that I will try to make a bow with without any form of magical assistance. Nerd Cuisine. For the standard sugar cookie dough, I'm going with this recipe from Alton Brown, which starts with two sticks of softened unsalted butter and one cup of sugar. Cream until light and fluffy before adding one egg and one tablespoon of milk. Beat these together to combine. Finally, add three cups of flour, all purpose, which has been mixed with three fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Beat slowly until the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl. Normally, you'd refrigerate this dough, and we will be doing that. But rainbows are on the menu today, folks, so let's play with some colors. I've divided the dough into six similar ish blobs for which I'm going to slowly figure out how much color to add to each. It looks like it's about six drops of the red food coloring for a nice red dough. A piddly two drops of red and four of yellow for orange. A few drops of yellow to this already yellow dough to make it more cartoonishly yellow. It's a hard word to say cartoonishly. Five drops of green for green, and similarly five drops of blue for blue. And for purple, my personal favorite color, four drops of red and four drops of blue. Unfortunately, this one didn't seem to mix as nicely as the others. You can see both little streaks of red and blue in there. But it looks okay from a distance. And then turn these into little colored hockey pucks and leave in the fridge to chill until firm. And while they do that chill, we can work on the frosting. The standard American buttercream consists of butter, but no cream unless you choose to add it. Beat one stick of softened butter until pale, and then slowly add one and two thirds of a cups of powdered sugar. Final flavorings are one teaspoon of vanilla and a fourth of a cup of milk and a pinch of salt just to bump up the flavors a little bit. Beat until it looks like a nice whipped frosting back to the domain of the cookie, we need to preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit while we begin to roll them out. The surprise cookies are described as box-shaped, so I'm going to roll them out into some squares from each of the individual colors, except green, since that one is specifically left off of this rainbow, and then carefully cut out a little hole in order to hide our surprise. Bake for seven to nine minutes until they're just starting to brown. Nerd Cuisine. So now that all of our components are done, we can construct our book accurate failure version. We need to use way too much buttercream placed on warm cookies so that'll be slightly melty. And now to figure out how to tie a licorice knot. Oh, that's not right. Get it? I mean, Lorelai cheated while making these, so I will too. Just don't tell anyone. Shh. And then a loop-de-loop -loop and pull. And it's looking... Cool? Unstable? Just like me? So here we have our Rainbow Surprise Cookie Box. The most important thing to check for first is a snap on the lid cookie. So let's undo the work we did making this into a nice stack and it kind of has a snap. It's a little soft. Mm. On its own, it tastes like a fine sugar cookie. Oh, and you know what? Forgot to show you guys the surprise. Are you ready? It's nothing! 
That's a surprise! Yay! What's probably more of a surprise is that I'm going to try to take a chomp out of all of it like an apple. <laughs> well, that's pretty book accurate to me. Slightly melted buttercream and way too much of it. A tooth rotting sugar rush on a plate. It's also critical to eat the licorice like a spaghetto for maximum effect. I think I can make this look a little nicer. Using our leftover scraps of dough and the neglected green, I'm going to make little multicolored logs in order to make some checkerboard-ish patterns. Then we're going to slice those into medallions and roll them out before cutting, just as before. When we're assembling, we will hold back on the buttercream, so just the lightest of layers to act as glue on our cooled cookies. And you know what? The licorice bow is cute. It could stay. And also fewer layers overall. I don't think anyone wants to make a habit out of biting through five cookies at once, which I can now confirm from experience. And there we go. It looks a little prettier. It bites a little better than before. I don't really have much else to say about it. So thank you very much for watching. If this somehow got you interested, go support the creator and buy the book. Or you can support me as a creator by hitting that subscribe button and putting comments and likes and whatnot. All that stuff is good and gives me power. Alright, see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.